Hey everybody, in this video, we're going to be talking about the mean value theorem for differentiation. The mean value theorem states that if a function f of x is continuous on the closed interval a, b, and differentiable on the open interval a, b, then there exists a value x equals c within the open interval a, b, such that f prime of c equals f of b minus f of a over b minus a. Let's take a look at this graphically to explore what this means. Here we have a function f of x. As you can see, it's continuous on the closed interval a to b and differentiable on the open interval a, b. There aren't any holes in the graph, any corners, any cusps, or any discontinuities. The graph is smooth and continuous. Now the conclusion of the mean value theorem states that there exists a value x equals c within the open interval a, b, such that f prime of c equals f of b minus f of a over b minus a. f of b minus f of a over b minus a is just the average rate of change of the function from x equals a to x equals b. In other words, it's the slope of the secant line. Now, f prime of c is the slope of the tangent line at x equals c. So what the mean value theorem is saying is that there's a value x equals c within the interval where the slope of the tangent line is equivalent to the slope of the secant line. And as you can see in this diagram, we have two parallel lines. The slope of the line at x equals c is parallel or equivalent to the slope of the secant line from a to b. Now remember that the average rate of change is the average slope over an interval. In other words, it's the mean slope of a function over an interval. So the mean value theorem finds us the x value on the function where the slope of the tangent line is equivalent to that mean slope. Let's do an example problem. Find the value x equals c that satisfies the conclusion of the mean value theorem on the interval negative two, one for the function f of x equals x cubed minus two x plus three. Before we try and solve this, let's outline a solution strategy. Now the first thing we need to do is determine if f of x is continuous on the closed interval and if f of x is differentiable on the open interval. Well here f of x is a polynomial and polynomials are smooth and continuous functions. So this function satisfies those requirements. Next, we're gonna find f prime of x and substitute c for x. Then we'll find the average rate of change on the interval then we'll set f prime of c equal to that average rate of change. And finally, we'll solve for c. Remember, c is the specific x value in question that we are looking for. Okay, let's do this. So here we have f of x, which is x cubed minus two x plus three. And we're gonna find the derivative, f prime of x equals three x squared minus two. Now we'll substitute c for x and we get three c squared minus two. Then we'll find the average rate of change on the interval negative two, one. That gives us one when we do the arithmetic. Next, we'll set f prime of c equal to that average rate of change. So three c squared minus two equals one. Then we're gonna solve for c. Notice when we solve for c here, we get three c squared equals three. So c equals plus or minus one. We get two values of c, but which one do we choose or do we choose both? Well, we have to remember that the mean value theorem only guarantees us a value x equals c on the open interval a, b. Remember, the interval is negative two, one, and the mean value theorem guarantees a value x equals c on the open interval negative two, one. c equals one is not a solution because it's an endpoint. But that means that c equals negative one is the solution. Let's look at this graphically. I've graphed the function f of x, and I've also graphed the secant line on the interval negative two, one, which is shown in blue. Then I've graphed the tangent line shown in red at x equals negative one or c equals negative one. Note that the tangent line at c equals negative one is parallel to the secant line. The two lines have the same slopes. And this validates our answer. We found the value x equals c whose tangent slope is equivalent to the slope of the secant line on the interval negative two, one. Let's recap the mean value theorem. If f of x is continuous on the closed interval a, b, 
and differentiable on the open interval AB, then there exists a value x equals c within the open interval AB such that f prime of c equals f of b minus f of a over b minus a. Remember, this theorem is just a fancy way of saying at what x value does the slope of the tangent line equal the slope of the secant line on an interval. I recommend that you commit this theorem to memory as it will help you solve mean value theorem problems with confidence. And just keep on practicing. That's how you rock calculus.